So to start off with you need a clear workspace. You will need clean hands, wash them with soap, sterilize them if you must. Um, you will need to prepare everything before you start injecting because you don't want to be reaching for things while you have a needle stuck in the arm. You'll need to wet your cotton ball with the alcohol so it's all prepared. Sterilize the site. And we'll be injecting it into this muscle, into this little hill. Then when you tense it, it comes up and moves around in there. But you, won't, you don't want to be tensing it while you're injecting. Um, you will need your syringe. There's some air in the syringe, if you can see. You'll need to get that out. You don't want any air in there because it'll make the site really painful. Okay, so it's dry. Some places don't sterilize, or you're going to be injecting because, well, in England they don't anyway. But basically, you'll need a relaxed arm. Where is it? I'm going to in there. And you'll need to do it quickly so it doesn't hurt. And all the way in, or almost all the way in, doesn't matter, the needle's not gonna get stuck in your arm. And you'll need to very, very slowly inject. Because the faster you inject it, basically, the more painful it is afterwards. The more, the more of a bruise you'll have, the more of a swelling you'll have. So inject it quickly, and push the plunger very, very slowly. I'm looking into the mirror so I can see what I'm doing, which I can't. I wonder if you guys can see this in there. That might be better. Quickly like a dart, basically. easy to inject with. The trick is not to move around so the needle doesn't get moved around but when you're done quickly take it out and apply a little cotton ball I can't even see where I did it anymore. <laughs> Good enough. Mm, apply pressure so it doesn't squeeze its way back out. And massage it if you must. It'll help it get into the muscle, get in between the strains, strands. And you're done. One flu vaccination. Get rid of the syringe. I'd say take it, take it to a nurse, and she'll get rid of it for you. Take it to like a clinic, but uh, dispose of it properly. And you might have some side effects, but they're usually minor. So if you'll have anaphylactic shock or any sort of allergy, they will come on quite quickly, so you'll need to call an ambulance. So you really need someone there with you so they can call an ambulance for you or take care of you and talk to the people in the ambulance, um, in the 911 or whatever you're, wherever you're calling. Um, basically you might have inflammation, swelling here, or itchiness, soreness, achy muscles, it's all normal. That usually happens to me for about a day and it goes away and it's all safe. So yeah, I hope this helps. Good luck guys.